Ciao Nils, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Many musicians, among them trumpet players, spend years in years to find out their voice. Uh, knowing also that you are fond of singers and singing, uh, I would like to know about your research of your voice. Still searching? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. Yeah, I, th I think it's important to to f find a sound that you are you feel yeah. comfortable in. That that is something that you can relate to. And uh, in a way, it's it's uh, for me. It's just about uh, just searching how I open the mouth in, inside the mouth to to and to to find to find the sound. And some days it's there. Other days you have to struggle because you know. <laughs> so it, it's kind of um, yeah. I mean, it's a constant search, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Several times in your career, electronics have been uh, important to you, mm. and still is. Mm. Which kind of possibilities did they give them to you? Oh, yeah. Are you going on always exploring this field? I wish I would do it more. Like I'm, I'm, I want to do it more now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was using uh, uh, a lot of analog in the beginning, uh, but that gets destroyed on the road. Airports, uh, air people, and so it's uh, always a big risk. Mm. Uh, now it's so many nice software, and so I'm, I'm very slowly just go searching into things to do with that. I use things from native instruments, uh, I use Ableton Live and I also started to look into Max for Live and uh, to try to find uh, ways to control it with my feet. Uh, but it takes time and uh, just lately I've been uh, doing uh, so many things for writing for TFR and these things so I haven't had a time. but. Uh, Hopefully, I, I will sit down soon and, and dig into... Uh, uh, jazz musicians are often a uh, virtual fight between improvisation and composition. Which comes first to you, if anything comes first? I think it's the same. Uh, um, if you improvise, you kind of uh, instant composing. Sometimes, I mean, if you sit and you... Uh, just now I've been making music for, uh, for uh, ballet and theater. Then you compose, and then, then it's, it's, but it still is a, it all happens in an Im, improvisation uh, uh, flow, you know. Mm. So you find, ah, this, that came this, and uh, then you work on this one. And, and uh, when you uh, play and uh, with this, it, it's uh, a little bit the same. Mm. To, to, uh, so for me, it, it's, it's equal. You know, uh, it, it is composition, but it's instant composition. Uh, which kind of experiences, human, musical ones, are increasing your knowledge in music, both for composing and playing? It's like you can hear something and you can get the uh, uh, inspiration and an idea and uh, then you can sort of uh, have references to the thing you hear in, and then you create something of your own. I'm, I'm not so afraid of uh, simplicity. Uh, I just wanted to sound good, <laughs> you know. So, um, getting older and uh, uh, more relaxed, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, so um, uh, some days you feel like this, and you can sit down. I mean, you can sit down and make something, and then uh, you sit all, all night, and then uh, you go and sleep, and you listen next morning and say, "Ah, no," <laughs> you know. So it's. Uh, it's never boring. <laughs> <laughs> and you are also fascinated by the sound of Far Eastern instruments uh, mm. and the sound of your trumpet uh, sometimes remind us about that. Can we expect a collaboration with musicians coming from there or other musicians coming from other traditions? Oh yeah. Well, we played at the same concert. It's fantastic uh, uh, Iranian singer called uh, Mashta Madat. Uh, I really would like to do something with her. Yeah. I've been working with the uh, African musician. I've, I've been working with many, many. Um, talk about sound. I was uh, in uh, in Tokyo, 
and uh, uh, we were doing something with the uh, Gagaku Orchestra, which is the oldest orchestra in the world, and they have this instruments which is like uh, 1500 2000 years old and they look incredible and the sound that comes you don't expect that sound to come out at all <laughs> and it's uh, it was like really uh, fantastic we have this kind of harmonicas which is like 2000 years old with the bamboo and and um, so there is so so many fascinating instruments and uh, you can go on exploring. Yeah, you can go on exploring the rest of this life. Maybe next also. <laughs> what, what is just about? It's about sharing. It's about dialogue. It's about yes. looking into yourself. Yeah, I, uh, I think jazz is for, uh, it's different from, uh, from people to people. For me, jazz, or I call it more like improvised music, uh, is about interaction. It's about... Uh, Creating a, a, a dialogue, and when it's good, it's very you get very close to each other, and it, it's, uh, it's and it's it's not about defining where to go. You can sometimes go there, but then people now we go there, and then okay. So it, it's a, it's a very open, open uh, uh, yes, op open uh, mind, open uh, everything. And when it's good, it's, it's uh, very good. And when it's not good, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nils. Very kind of you. Oh, <laughs>